Hi all, Pedro here, and in this episode we look at the Scarlet 2i2 Studio from Focusrite. Now the 2i2 Studio is a USB audio interface uh, and is ideally suited for uh, musicians or, or for um, perhaps those doing YouTube videos as well, um, either game commentaries or, or voiceovers. And uh, I was looking for a, for a product that was going to really help me um, improve my audio quality uh, for my videos and after doing a little bit of research I came across this. So in terms of the packaging, the product was uh, very well packaged, um, as you can see here. And um, yeah, all the uh, the items were, were well secured and no danger really of them moving about or getting damaged in transit. Uh, everything you need to, to get started off with um, with top quality recording uh, actually is included in the box. You've got the, uh, first of all, the USB interface itself. Um, you've got the uh, headphones, the microphone. You've also got some... Um, some leads in there that, that you're going to need um, so all of that is included as part of uh, one package um, which is one of the, the big selling points um, of this USB interface for me I didn't need to go and spend um, loads of money on loads of different products but actually you could um, get everything within the, the one uh, sort of package really now the studio version does come with uh, two channels. You've got a couple of adapters there so you can plug in either X, uh, LR or um, quarter inch jacks. You've also got uh, individual gains for each channels. Uh, you've got a headphone out jack and you've got on the back here, um, you've got two line outputs to plug them into uh, into monitors as well. The unit is powered uh, solely by USB uh, and you can plug that straight into your PC or Mac. The build quality of the unit is nice and secure, nice and steady. It's got a nice uh, brushed aluminium case, um, which gives it a real premium feel. The microphone that comes as part of the bundle, and it is the one that I'm currently talking on now uh, during this voiceover, is a, a condenser microphone. It is a cardioid condenser microphone. And um, again, really impressed with the build quality. Uh, nice and um, nice and heavy, some nice weight to it. Uh, it does have the uh, XLR input there, um, which you can plug into either of the two channels. Also included in the package is an adapter, uh, which you can use to uh, connect the, uh, the microphone to a boom arm or a mic stand. The bundle also comes with a, a set of headphones and um, I've been really impressed with the quality of the headphones, the overall build quality um, is quite good really for, for the stock headphones and um, they are very handy to be able to uh, monitor um, the sound that's being recorded uh, as you are um, either singing or, or, or doing a voiceover or game commentary. Um, you can hear exactly uh, the sound uh, that is being recorded and you can obviously adjust it with the gain. Um, uh, on directly onto the interface themselves as well. Um, some good movement with the mic, uh, with the uh, headphones. Don't feel like they're going to snap if you do pull them. Um, so yes, I do feel uh, of uh, of relatively good good quality. There's also a good amount of padding uh, on the cups, um, which is uh, going to ensure that they do uh, stay nice and comfortable, nice and tight onto your head. Another great benefit with these headphones is the the adapter is uh, either quarter inch or the 3.5 millimeter jack. Having the option of both means that you don't just need to use the headphones uh, for the interface, but you can use them uh, with your phone or MP3 player. Now installing the 2i2 is really easy. Uh, you just plug it in and head over to the Focus uh, Right website where you download the uh, the driver and the uh, bundled software, which uh, it comes with uh, Orbiton Live at the moment. Um, so you can download that and that will act as your uh, audio recording software. Um, as I mentioned, the box also comes uh, included uh, with an um, XLR cable and a, a USB cable to power the box as well. As you're looking around to, to see you know, how can you improve your audio quality with YouTube videos, uh, then I really recommend uh, this bundle and I'll put a link in the description below uh, of where you, can, uh, where you can purchase this from. Um, you can get it on Amazon, uh, managed to get it myself uh, for a really good price, um, so do check it out on there. Um, but really this is uh, you know, sort of all you really need to be able to uh, really upgrade your, your audio. It's a one-stop shop if you like. Um, yeah, in terms of being able to get that uh, such a, a better quality audio um, for, for a really reasonable price. You don't need to look around at, at loads of different mics and different setups. So a couple of great things with going with the studio uh, rather than the solo version is uh, you get the two imports, um, the two ports right in the front that can take 
uh, both the XLR jack um, as well as your quarter inch jack as well for your instruments, um, which is fantastic. And that's each controlled um, uh, and recorded on individual tracks. And um, you've got sort of separate control over the gain on those as well. Um, now with the solo version, uh, it just comes with the um, one XLR and the one quarter inch jack. Um, they're not sort of a, a dual one um, that can be controlled like that. So, so do make sure um, to look out for that. Also, really recommend getting the uh, second generation version. If you get the second generation, um, actually there's low uh, latency, which is your delay when you're um, when you're speaking and when you're monitoring it um, through headphones. Um, actually, if you've got latency on there, you can hear a delay. It sort of comes through a split second um, later than what you've said it, and it's really really off putting when you're trying to sort of put vocals vocals down or record a game commentary or something something along those lines. Now with the uh, headphones here, just to give you an idea, um, you can uh, sort of fully monitor uh, the sound that comes through. So actually I can hear myself um, quite clearly now uh, as I talk um, through these headphones, um, which is fantastic if you are um, singing um, or, or you're just looking to, to sort of isolate the, the background noise to, to really hear um, what's being recorded. Um, there are quite a decent set of headphones as well, quite comfortable. One of the things I will say is that they do feel quite hot actually when you put them on. Um, they do make your ears feel a little bit hot, so perhaps if I was using them for hours and hours, um, then um, yeah, it could be a problem. But otherwise, uh, they're relatively comfortable for the price. Um, relatively good sound quality as well, I've been quite impressed with them. Wasn't expecting uh, a huge amount as they were sort of the stock ones that come with the bundle, um, but they have been, um, yeah, they've sort of blown my expectations. Um, with the quality that, that they come with. Um, I tried plugging my bass guitar in there as well, got some fantastic sound from that, was uh, again impressed um, with the sound that, that this uh, this audio interface does um, does produce. Um, it was uh, very, very impressive for, for a piece of kit that's, you know, doesn't really sort of break the bank in terms of the amount of money you can spend uh, for top quality audio equipment. Um, so yeah, can't, really can't sort of fault it I can't recommend it highly enough. First impressions are very, very good. Now with the um, with the microphone, um, uh, and obviously this is a difference actually between me talking directly into the microphone and me talking slightly off off and facing the, the camera. And obviously I should really have the microphone in front of the camera, um, but actually I wanted to give you a, 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 obviously the visual of the camera as well. So you can see how I've got it set up. I've got it set up with a, a, a pop filter and on a boom arm as well. Um, and uh, obviously you've got the shock mount here, um, which is just going to stop um, the sort of the vibrations that come through the table and, and the boom arm. Um, so just going to eliminate those so they don't get picked up in the recording. I do recommend, I mean, the um, the boom arm, uh, I think it was about £10 on, um, uh, on Amazon, so not much. And, um, you know, the pop filter again. Um, you can get them for about five or on um, or on Amazon. The same for the shock mounts. You can get them relatively, uh, relatively cheap uh, or as expensive as you want to spend. Really, um, so do look into that. The cables, um, as you saw, sort of the, all the cables come, um, all the cables you can need actually come with the focus right um, package uh, as part of the studio bundle. So you don't really need to invest um, too much in in cables if you don't have them. Um, as the majority of the cables that you do need. Um, are going to come along with it so um, yeah this is it for my unboxing and review like I say there is a link uh, in the description below and if you want to see more uh, of these reviews uh, and of these unboxings then do make sure um, you hit the subscribe button uh, and do m let me know in the comments below um, do you like the look of the uh, focus uh, focus right 2i2 uh, studio bundle do you, is it something that interests you is it something that you perhaps use to use other things let me know is there any other tech that you'd like um, to see reviewed um, in the future uh, on this channel to so do let me know and thank you for watching guys and uh, take care